So two experts look at the same data. One screams buy, the other sell. How is that even possible? To figure this out, we gave two models the exact same info on the Dow Jones. Let's see what happened. And wow, look at the results. One model, Jesus, says there's an 86% chance the market rises. The other, Milton, says just 31%. That massive gap, it's not a mistake. It's a clash between two totally different ways of seeing the world. On one side, you've got the reactive worldview. And on the other, the proactive one. Let's break them down. Think of it like driving a car, but only looking in your rearview mirror. The past looks crystal clear, right? Problem is, that perfect view tells you nothing about the road ahead. And that past view isn't even the full picture. See, the New York market's only open for about a quarter of the day. Reactive thinking just ignores the other 73%. Now, the proactive analyst, they're looking through the windshield. Their job isn't reacting, it's interpreting. And this difference in approach, it helps explain a pretty brutal statistic. 80% of traders lose money. It's not about a lack of information. The real battle is happening right between our ears. It's all about fear and greed. And this isn't just for individual traders. This same fight happens at the very top of the financial system. So the Fed might announce a rate cut. That number is just raw data. It's a fact, plain and simple. But the real story is how they voted. A split vote? That shows there's serious disagreement behind the scenes. All right, so let's get back to our models, Milton and Jesus. What's behind that huge 55-point gap? Milton, the reactive model, just looks at the hard data from the past. And right now, that data looks pretty awful. So based on that data, Milton's conclusion is simple. Sell. It sees disaster coming and hits the brakes hard. But Jesus, it sees all that same bad news, but it also sees the story everyone's buying into. The AI boom, and it decides that story is so powerful, it's basically canceling out the bad data. So a rise is very likely. And there you have it, the solution to the paradox. That gap is literally the battle between reality and faith. In other words, the story is beating the arithmetic. The optimistic future is winning against the grim past. So in a world drowning in data, the real edge isn't having more of it. It's reading the stories. Which leaves us with a huge question. Given this massive disconnect, what could possibly break the spell? 